the ugly is a place where you can come and just escape. You can come here and kind of live a fantasy but be mistreated at the same time. It's kind of a southern biker bar meets downtown wasp meets, you know, college frat kids <laughs> all piled into one place. I didn't even really believe there was such a place until I started going to bars like this to kind of check it out. I haven't seen circuses as raucous as this bar. Well, it's like a party. It's one of the best parties you've ever been to. And you got beautiful waitresses who are serving you, and they get up on the bar and they'll dance to the music. David has a real vision for the, how this bar is its own character. The movie's about Piper and the atmosphere, this whole bar. And David really acknowledged that and finds that the bar has a relationship with everybody else and how that works. And he's very good at it. Do we serve water in this bar? It's a center place where everything happens. It's, it's a living room. It's the kitchen. It's places where everybody congregates. And a lot of information, a lot of plot points, it, it's all conveyed through that bar. Hey, everybody! I'd like you to meet my new girl, whose name is... Violet. Jersey. Jersey is an ex-kindergarten teacher and a former nun and is tired of being the only virgin in New York City. I was looking at the monitor the other day and I said, I want to go to that place. It looks like so much fun. Canadian, four south of the border, <laughs> six pack MGD and a double blended back. You want eight shots of what? I got it. It's always important to try to draw the audience in with authenticity. And when you're doing a picture about a bar, the girls have to know how to pour to the drinks, to spin the bottles, and do all the neat stuff that they learn how to do. They're always moving, they're always dancing. They're working very hard. They've created this atmosphere. It wasn't about learning how to mix drinks, because they're basically doing beers and shots. So it's more like an athleticism. Like, no, you don't hold the bottle like that. You grab it like this and you pour it. She's like, Tyra, no, put your body into it. Put your body into it. You know, and I'm like, okay, oh my god, okay. She's like, no, like this. So line them up and then try and do it real fast. I made them work very hard. I made them sweat. It was like boot camp. For me, it was pretty hard because I have really small hands, so I can't carry more than six beers. So I'm like, oh, I was like, oh, my manicure is gone because the nails are broken, but your hands are really wet, dirty, and um, disgusting. <laughs> We want to be able to like poop every bottle and pop every shot glass up in the air and but make it look like, oh yeah. Sure, I I flip three bottles over my head and don't even notice. We and hers are like crazy because there's so many different things to think about when you're shooting, you know. Good, good, that's great. Now turn it up, all the way. So we're always picking Jennifer's brain, like, it's the coolest way to do this and the coolest way to do that, you know what I mean? Make cocktail look like a playground. <laughs> you gotta be quick, you gotta be cute, you gotta dance at the same time. We worked with the choreographer, we had like sore knees and ankles and hips and there's this neck fling thing. I dance all the time, but I don't do this. And play back. So they had me on the bar and dancing and clogging and doing all kind of crazy stuff. We started with Don't Fall Off the Bar and then uh and try to progress it from there. <laughs> the space is small, considering the fact that we have to spin, we have to do splits and flip our head back and forth. It looks really big when you're sitting there at bar level, but when you get on the bar, it's like, it shrinks. It's so little. But the ladies had no fear. They conquered it. Once you get on the bar and have danced on it for a few days, it's, it's completely fine. And so we just go at it. They hang from the ceilings, they dive out into the crowd and surf, and, you know, it's just been crazy. It's wild. We started with just movement work, just us dancing, so we could see how we moved and what moves, also the personality of the characters within their dance. I dance on a bar and I strip. I'm probably not quite as nice to look at as perhaps some of the girls dance on the bar, but I'm giving it my all. 
Uh, okay, let's say pipes are coming this way. Well, one, one or the other. But they're going to come together, like in a kind of a fast way, like this, you know, da 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 da, and then turn and go back to back with each other, right? Thank you. I was looking for something that was real, something that a girl who worked in this bar could actually do. We wanted to do some flashy stuff that she could have learned and picked up. And we also want to do some stuff that are very natural and you could see in any club. Uh, so we're always looking for a blend between the two. This movie went someplace else beside the traditional ballet, jazz, tap. It went everywhere. It went to the street. There was some hip hop in there. There was definitely clogging. There was some sexy dancing. We want to be sexy because that's what everybody likes. That's why guys got that they want to see babes, you know? And it's supposed to look like fun. So with great camera work that the crew is doing, I think going to be something that's really new and fresh. We really exaggerate everything, just trying to shock people. There's fire, there's water. It's like it's all sexy, but it's like <gasps> down and dirty and fun and wild. <laughs> it's amazing what they do.